we're going to do on this video is look at some of the positions that you can get into that we didn't look at on tapes one and two. On tapes one and two, we really kind of looked at the more traditional grappling and ground fighting positions. Uh, we're going to uh, look at some positions that you may not get into as often, but if you're going to do some grappling on the ground, you will eventually get into, and some of the things that you can do from those positions. A lot of people want to know where do the techniques come from, what art do they come from. It's kind of Different techniques come from different arts, so it's, it's really a blended system, and a great deal of it comes from C. Uh, Larry Hartzell and the systems that he teaches, and in building on those concepts. The first position we're going to look at is a neutral position, where we're in neutral knees like this. We're really not touching at this time. Now, normally, prior to this, in our getting to the ground, we of course were touching, but for whatever reason, either we threw me and didn't get a good hold, or I threw him and didn't have a good hold. For some reason, when we're on the ground, maybe he pushed me with his feet, we separated. And it just seems that we are going to get into this position before we get into any other. Normally, there would be a grab or an attempt at a grab right in here and go right in. There's just not time to stand up. Or if he moves, I have no choice. If he, try, if he comes at me right now, my choice won't be to stand up in the middle of that. It will be to meet that and try to take him here. If you're going to do ground sparring, and work out a lot on the ground, you're, you're going to find yourself in this position a lot starting out because it's just a very convenient position to start out in when you're doing ground sparring. First of all, you have to isolate the type of ground sparring you're going to do. Uh, you have to decide up front, are we going to go all out here? Are we going to wear protective gear? Are we going to hit? If we're going to hit, are we going to hit with our hands and our feet? Or are we just going to use our hands and wear gloves? Is he going to wear protective gear? Is that going to restrict his movements? And we have to say, okay, we're going to use elbows and knees. Uh, is, is this, is, in our ground sparring, are we going to be, you know, really working on our kicks and hitting and boxing from the ground? Or are we going to try to work more on locks and chokes and pressure points and things like, like that? And if, I find that if you try to work on everything too early, then everything suffers. So sometimes it's good to do isolation sparring and work just on locks and chokes and holds. And then add in your pressure points. And then add in your sparring and, and your joint locks, you're trapping, and just kind of blend it in so that 